Hey everyone! So today I just wanted to tell you about something that happened to me. And this incident is a perfect example of why I have no trust in the healthcare system when it comes to mental health. So today basically I went to my family doctor for a checkup. Um, I had to have my prescriptions refilled and um, in the end I had to go for uh, blood work to have um, the blood check my like my blood check for levels of medication in my system so we got through the doctor stuff pretty quickly and then we went to the lab so that I could have my blood taken and I fill out the paperwork like I always do hand the lady my health card and she asked me when the last time uh, I took my my medication was <clears throat> and I told her it was about 10 o'clock this morning and by that time it was about noon and she says to me that usually they don't check blood work so close to having taken your medication because it can give false high readings sometimes. And I told her that this was pretty much irrelevant due to the fact that I was having my blood retested because my doctor thought the levels of medication were low, not high. So I'm starting to get frustrated at this point. I'm starting to feel a little anxiety. I just want to do what the doctor told me to do. He wants me to get my blood work done and that's what I'm here to do and that's all I wanted to do. So then she asked if I can come back in an hour or uh, possibly in four. I was like, no, I can't do that. My husband took a few hours off work just to get me here today. I had to drag my daughter here with me and I'm just doing what my doctor asked of me. Like, I don't understand what the big deal is. Because the last time you took my blood, I took my pill within two hours of having my blood tested and it still came out low. And I need the test to be done. I don't want to end up back in the mental hospital. So I just kind of had like a little get a bit of verbal diarrhea, I guess. I let that out and I just like wanted her to know how serious like it was for me to get it done. And that's when it happened. Like it always does. This older woman that was uh, sitting next to my husband looks from him and my daughter to me with a look of, like, fear literally smeared across her face, plain as fucking day, and I just sit down and put my hands in my face and try to, like, you know, deep breathe and just keep myself calm and wait to hear what the, the lab tech lady is going to decide ultimately. So finally she says, all right, Jackie, we'll uh, take your blood work, come with me. So I walk in and I sit down in the chair, roll up my sleeve, and I clench my fist, preparing for what I just want to get over with. As I sat there waiting for her to get her things ready to take my blood, I started silently crying, tears literally rolling down my cheeks. I was thinking... How can someone who works in healthcare be so mean, so unempathetic, so uneducated about how to treat someone with a mental illness? And as I thought these things, I silently cried. And she noticed. And I saw the look of half shock, half guilt on her face, but she still said nothing to comfort me. Not an apology, not a have a nice day, nothing. So to the lady in the waiting room today at the lab, and the lab technician herself, thank you. Yet again, I feel like a piece of shit about myself for having an illness I never asked for, an illness I never wanted. It's so easy for you to judge, isn't it? If you work in the healthcare industry, have some damn compassion. You have no idea the demons that I fight every day to stay in my good place. But you don't see the fight, do you? All you see are the demons. And the media doesn't help. Every time you hear of a violent incident these days, it always comes back to their history of mental health. Why don't you just help us fight our demons instead of joining their ranks? Your fearful looks pierce at me like a knife. I'm not my illness. So stop looking at me like I am.
So, as always, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to talk more about any of the subjects I have covered so far, and I'm open to new topic ideas as well. Until next time, continue to fight the stigma, stay strong, and remember, you're never alone.